What's going on, Monster Jam fans, and welcome back to Scissor TV. You could be anywhere in the world right now, but you're hanging out with us, and I thank you for that. If you want to see some amazing Monster Jam crashing, smashing, freestyling action, you, my friend, have come to the right place. But enough talking. Let's get into the action. So let's get ready to monster! What's up, Monster Jam fans? Welcome to another exciting freestyle episode, and we're going to waste no time getting into the action, going down to the arena floor, watching everyone's favorite great white shark, who might just be on fire right now, tear up the arena floor. Let's hear it for Megalodon Fire. I tell you, boys and girls, that is one fish I do not want to run into at the beach. All right, let's see what he's got for us. And here he goes, starting off with some air right off the bat, going into a wheelie. And oh, it looks like he can stay on those rear tires for days. Is he going to make it all the way across the arena floor? Oh, just about. Looks like he's lining up for his second trick. Oh, I wonder if he's going to go for the backflip and... Oh, it looks like he changed his mind midway through. Probably a smart idea, but wait, what's he doing now? Some Scissor TV fan favorite donuts. Oh, landing on two wheels, but powering out. Oh, I like that, the way he is tapping those left and right tires back and forth, getting some speed, some big air over that far side jump. Looks like he's going to get some speed and line up for his next trick. Let's see what he's got for us. Approaching the ramp and, oh yes, it is that fan favorite backflip. It was almost in slow motion. It looked like poetry in motion. And oh, looks like he's lining up for another box backflip. Let's see if he can pull it off. Oh, and he does. I love the way he was able to stall that in the air, do it nice and slow. And you saw the full rotation of those big old BKT tires. That Megalodon Fire is just jumping all the way across the arena floor, doing an amazing job as he's going into some more fiery donuts. I love to see it, and so do you. Oh, and we have a front flip all the way on the front two tires, and you can hear the crowd loves it. They are going crazy here in the stadium. Oh, a front flip into a wheelie, into a moonwalk on two-tire bicycle. you love to see it. Let's see what he's got here for us. It seems like he is stringing these tricks together as fast as he can, and it sounds like time is about to expire. Let's see what he's got for his last trick here as he lines up. All right, he's got some big air on the side as he starts the combo. He's got to perform another trick quickly if he wants to string these together. I don't know if he's going to have enough time. Oh, and time has just expired. Let's hear it for Megalodon Fire. What an amazing run. All right, now let's take it outside for our next event. It's going to be a race in the Haunted Forest. And it looks like we're going to be following... El Toro Loco as he does a Return of the Dead Waypoint race. Oh, and El Toro Loco is off to an amazing start. You can see he checked his rear view mirror and he is already ahead of both Gravedigger and Gravedigger the Legend. This is their home turf and we're going to see if that plays a factor into this race. So far, El Toro Loco has taken off to a pretty commanding lead, but there's a lot of different twists and turns and paths that El Toro Loco and the other competitors can take. Right now, El Toro Loco has decided to go to the right while some of the other Monster Jam trucks went to the left. They're going to meet up in the middle. Oh, just smashing through that tree. This crazy bull doesn't care about what's in his way. It is not going to slow him down. All right, we're coming up to our turnaround point right here, and it looks like El Toro Loco has decided to hit it and go. Oh, no. It looks like he, oh, he just went smashed face first into Gravedigger the Legend, then Mohawk Warrior, and now Gravedigger is in him. That was not that great of a plan. I think if El Toro Loco had just kept going straight, he would have been able to hold on to his league. But as it stands right now, He's all the way in last place, and he is going to have to fight 
to try to get back up into that first place position. But we know that it is not something that El Toro Loco cannot do. He doesn't have quit in his vocabulary and he's going to give it his all throughout this entire race. As you can see, boys and girls, he is right on the heels of Gravedigger and Gravedigger the Legend, giving them a run for their money. Oh, and with a pile of blue thunder, Gravedigger the Legend, El Toro Loco is able to take over third place, but Gravedigger does eke out in front of him and I'm not sure if there's enough race left for El Toro Loco to make it up. Oh, and he catches some air as he goes corkscrewing through that final waypoint. El Toro Loco was able to finish second. That tells you, boys and girls, never give up. All right, let's get into our third event, and it's going to be another waypoint race. And who are we going to be following in the paranormal activity waypoint race? None other than Megalodon. This is the second time we've seen this shark on the freestyle event today, but this time we're looking at, I believe, overcast Megalodon. Earlier we saw Megalodon fire. I tell you, you can never have too many great white sharks. Oh, and he just goes careening into that light bulb. Surprisingly, he wasn't passed, but we can see that Soldier Fortune is right on Megalodon's tail. Oh, and it looks like Soldier Fortune has just taken first place and passed Megalodon. Megalodon fishtailing as he tries to regain control of that 14,000 pound monster truck sitting on those four giant BKT tires. Hitting the boost as he goes flying through the course. Some tight turns, you can see he's starting to skid. Oh, and Jurassic Attack comes out of nowhere and is able to get in front of him. But thankfully, Megalodon is able to recover relatively quickly and is back on the track. Oh, and Megalodon just now passed Mohawk Warrior. For those keeping track at home, that puts him in third place. Let's see if this shark can take a bite out of first or second. Smashes into the wall, and it allows Mohawk Warrior to go in front of him, but that is okay, because Megalodon has a good amount of straight shot distance to use. Here goes that boost. And we, did, did Megalodon just become a flying fish? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a lot of aquatic humor today at Scissor TV. You have to when you've got Megalodon racing. Let's go, buddy. He started to go the wrong way, but thankfully realized he needed to go up the hill, and that is what he's doing. He's seeming a little bit like a fish out of water. But um, Sorry, guys. I'm also a dad. All right. Megalodon is back on track. Still behind, he's trying to catch up. We've only got a little bit of the race left, so let's see if he can give it everything he has as he goes into these last few hairpin turns and see if he can go up in the point standing by overtaking anyone in this race. And oh, we just had a big old collision. Jurassic attack, backwards Bob, Soldier of Fortune, they've all smashed into the ground right now. Megalodon is trying to get back on his tires. Can he go? Hurry up, Megalodon, and oh, wow, after all of that Megalodon is able to finish in third place pretty amazing if you ask me all right we're taking it back inside the arena and whoa whoa did you guys just feel the ground shake no 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 I think that was the earth shaking and we're gonna be watching Earthshaker do a quick circuit race and we're gonna see who his challenger is and it is none other than doomsday that is a sleek looking monster truck. When the lights are off, you can barely see it. Two, one, go! And Earthshaker got a perfect start off that line, but so did Doomsday. As you can see, Doomsday looked like he was just inches in front of Earthshaker here at the Arizona Arena. If you look over at your left, it looks like Doomsday once again is just edging slightly in front of Earthshaker. This is the best of three laps and we have just completed the first one. And Earthshaker is trying to take these turns as tight as possible, but really on that one right there, no, 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 no. This is no time to show off Earthshaker. We're not trying to bicycle here. We're trying to go as fast as we can. That has definitely cost him some time as we're in our final lap and Earthshaker once again trying to take it as quickly as he can, but he's struggling a little. I'm wondering if there's something going on with his truck and it looks like... 
Oh, Doomsday was your winner, but a great showing from Earthshaker. Let's hear it for both of our Monster Jam drivers. All right, going into the final race of the event, we're going to be going back to our favorite shark, Megalodon Gold. We're going to be doing a mad to the max waypoint race out in the wasteland. It's going to be fast. It's going to be furious. Most of all, it's going to be fun. Go! Oh, and Megalodon Fire opts to smash right into Avenger and take the lead. We've seen this fish do some amazing things today, but we haven't seen it take home a win. So maybe this will be the race where it can happen, but Max D says not if he has something to say about it. Max D pushing as hard as he can on Megalodon, but Megalodon was able to pull ahead right now in second place with his sights set squarely on Avenger in first place. Oh, and Whiplash coming out of nowhere with Zombie on his tail. If rubbing is racing, then that is what these monster trucks are doing. Nobody wants to give up an inch, but Avenger is pulling ahead even more. Oh, no, no, I spoke too soon. Avenger goes spinning out and that is allowing, oh, I, again, I thought Megalodon was going to be able to capitalize that, but it looks like Zombie is actually the one who does. Oh, mid-air collision. Oh, it makes it so that Megalodon doesn't quite make the jump. Oh, and Avenger is back in the fray, and Megalodon has dropped all the way back to fifth place. There isn't a whole lot of race left, so we're going to have to see some very good driving from Megalodon if he wants to make up for this. And Blue Thunder crashes out, allowing Megalodon to take fifth. He's right on the tail of Max D. Oh, he's starting to spin out, but he's able to get back on track and didn't lose too much except for Max D is able to capitalize it. They all hit that boost and we are on the very last part of this race. A few turns, boys and girls, and it's over. I don't know if Megalodon can actually do anything to take first place. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. A huge pileup. Every single person wrecked and Megalodon's able to take first place. He capitalized him. He was the only truck not to crash. My goodness, what an amazing finish to this event. Wow. Boys and girls, I think that was the most exciting end to any freestyle event we've ever had. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I sure did. That's why it is so much fun fun watching these monster jam trucks race and freestyle because you never know what's going to happen well you know one thing i know that is going to happen there's going to be two more monster jam videos this week wednesday we've got a let's drive with and then friday of course is monster jam adventure so make sure you're tuned to the channel for that until next time i need you to do two things one be good to one another, and to always treat others the way you would want to be treated. So until next time, we'll see ya!